Hi kindergarten. I miss you guys. Um, I will be seeing you again, but it might be a little bit longer than we thought. So I'm sending you a little video and I'm going to read a little story with you that you can share with your families. It's a story about what we should do with a problem. And we're probably hearing about uh, a lot of big problems on the TV, on the news, and with big, uh, big people talking about it. So we're going to read this book. And then you're going to get to talk about it a little bit with your families. Check out the pictures. They're very nice. And I haven't forgotten about you. I'll talk to you guys very soon. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled it. I tried to ignore it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow to be brave, and to do something really cool. So now, I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore, because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it.